here after failure. I've had enough. Today we will capture Checkers the Inventor's precious blue book, and we will finally know how he creates his inventions. And we will steal his ideas and make better ones. Much better. One thousand times better. Never again will anyone discuss the adventures of Checkers and Snoozer. What are you talking about? You're speaking nonsense. I'll have to wipe your memory later. Really? So I get to make all new memories? Uh, yes. You're taking this surprisingly well. So what are we doing today? We are going on our own reading road trip. <laughs> Seatbelts. Check. Backpack? Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? All right, snoozer. I haven't given you any hints yet, so it is time for our three hints. Hint number one. This place is indoor and outdoor. Hint number two. We've been there once before. And hint number three. The animal we're seeing today can jump really far. Hmm. Uh, kangaroo? Yes, that's it, snoozer. We're going to a place that has a kangaroo in it. That sounds terrific! Absolutely, Snoozer. We are talking all about Australian animals today. The animals that live in the continent and country of Australia. So that is the kangaroos, but also koala, crocodiles, lots of fascinating animals. It's going to be really exciting. But we've been talking about kangaroos a little bit, so let's ask Zot for some information about kangaroos. Zot, the robot at your service, activating excited voice. Kangaroos are marsupial animals that are found in Australia, as well as New Guinea. There are four different kangaroo species. The red kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, western grey kangaroo, and antilopine kangaroo. Kangaroos can hop quickly on two legs and walk slowly on all four. Kangaroos can't walk backwards. They have very powerful legs and can be dangerous at times. Kangaroos can jump very high, sometimes three times their own height. They can even swim and use their tail to help guide them through the water. Goodbye. I love how they jump around. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, kangaroos have really strong legs and allow them to propel off the ground and jump really far. But do you know what the baby kangaroo is called? Oh, I know this one! Um, oh, I remember! It's Joey's! Yes, snoozer, that's it! Baby kangaroos are called Joey's. We might be talking about that a little bit later today. But right now, let's pull up the map. We are headed for Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, we'll be right at our destination. Hidden Valley Animal Adventure, where we're going to meet a kangaroo. Along the way, we're going to get a health tip from Dr. Dan and your teacher. Mrs. Hamilton is coming on to do a kangaroo craft with you. Kangaroo craft! This is awesome! Yes, yeah, snoozer. Wait a minute, here come the books! Let's check out a few. What was the button for my nut? Oh, that one. Here you go, Snoozer. Katie No Pocket by 
by Emmy Payne and Bindi Irwin's Wildlife by Emily Klein. Oh, Katie, no pocket. I love that book. It's by Emmy Payne, but it's illustrated by H.A. Ray, who also illustrated the Curious George books, and those are some of my favorite illustrations of all time. Katie Kangaroo is sad because she has no pocket in which to carry her son, Freddy. While all the other kangaroo children ride comfortably in their mother's pockets, poor Freddy has to walk. This makes Freddy sad too, and tired. But one day, Katie has an idea. Why not find out how other animals carry their babies? This book is great because you get to see Katie Kangaroo in the wild and in a city. It's really funny seeing a kangaroo hop through the city. So I love all the illustrations, I like seeing all the animals that appear in this story, I love all the different environments, and I really love the story. Katie wants to make sure Freddy has a pocket to sleep in, and she's working very hard for him. She's a great mother, and this story progresses incredibly well. This is a classic book to check out, for younger readers and older readers. Can we read this book later? For sure, Snoozer, but of course we're talking about kangaroo, so I think it's time for you to make your kangaroo craft with Mrs. Hamilton. How does that sound? Yay! All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton to create your kangaroo craft. Hi, Mrs. Hamilton! Hey, Snoozer, are you all set? For sure! All right, well, today our craft is going to look like this. And what we need for our kangaroo today is this sheet and this sheet. So as long as you have scissors and some glue, I think that's all you're gonna need. So let's get started. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Our kangaroo has a lot of pieces today, doesn't it? All right. So I'm going to have my guide here so I can kind of figure out how I want this to look. And then we just need our glue. So I think I'm going to put the head on first. And the finishing touch, I'm going to get my mouth on. Oh my goodness. My kangaroo looks very special. How does yours look? Here it is. Oh, I love it. Well, here's mine. Ah, cool. And I had a great time making that. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. Goodbye. And now, the question of the week. How high can you jump? I can jump this high. Woo! I can jump this high. 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 One, two, four, high. Thanks for joining us for the Question of the Week. Ta-da! Wow, Snoozer, you're getting amazing at these. That might be my favorite craft you've ever made. I made it walking slowly, just like we learned about. I also made it yellow. I also added pink polka dots. I also gave it blue eyes. I also gave it swim trunks. Kangaroos swim! I worked very hard. Well, it certainly paid off, Snoozer. Excellent job. All right, well, let's talk about our other book. That would be Bindi Irwin's Wildlife by Emily Klein. This book is about Bindi Irwin, the daughter of Steve Irwin. He was a famous explorer and animal expert from Australia. He loved learning about animals and he inspired many animal lovers across the world. He even had his own TV show. Unfortunately, Steve Irwin passed away, 
But now his children have carried out his legacy and have become animal experts themselves. This book is all about Bindi and her life. She is also a conservationalist, which means she is very concerned with animals facing extinction. On the cover of the book, we see an animal that isn't endangered yet, but is vulnerable, the koala. We spent a lot of time learning about animals, but how cool is it to learn about a person who is an animal expert? She can inspire you to learn about animals yourself, and maybe one day, you too will be an expert, just like Bindi. I want to read that book too, and I want to become an animal expert. I want to travel the world and meet every single animal. That'd be such a great idea, Snoozer, but it always starts by understanding and learning as much as we can. And the best way to do that right now is to read more books. So hey, Zod, what other books do you have about Australian animals for us? Zod, the robot at your service. Today's selections are... Does a Kangaroo Have a Mother Too? by Eric Carl. Explore My World, Kangaroos by Jill Esbaum. The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. Lyle Lyle Crocodile by Bernard Weber. Our Animal World, Spiny Animals by Karen Lachana Kenny. Books featuring Australian animals. Goodbye. Wow, well, there are a whole bunch of books there, Snoozer. But koalas, we haven't talked too much about koalas yet. All right, well, Zot, we need to bring you back up here. Do you give us some more information about koalas? Sure thing. Reactivating excited voice. Koalas are native to Australia. Koalas are nocturnal, so are mainly active at night. Koalas live in eucalypt forests and eat gum leaves, which are usually toxic to other animals. Koalas don't usually need to drink, as they get moisture from eucalyptus leaves. They only need to drink water during a drought or on an extremely hot day. Koalas have very sharp claws, which help them to climb high into the trees. A baby koala is called a joey, and it lives in its mother's pouch for six months and then remains with her for another six months, usually riding on her back. When a joey is born, it is only two centimeters long. Koalas live for 10 to 15 years. Koalas are not allowed to be kept as pets. Goodbye. What? They have joeys too? What is with all these animals and joeys? Yeah, I know. Maybe Kangaroo came up with it and then the koalas copied them. That's gotta be it. I wish they could be pets, though. They are so cute. I want to pet one right now. Yeah, they are really soft, but they're better left in the wild than to be handled by professionals if they're in zoos. Hey, Checkers, can we talk about a toy now? Oh, we should definitely talk about a toy, Snoozer. That would be a great idea. But we haven't talked much about crocodiles yet, and I have a toy that's pretty connected with crocodiles. You do? What is it? So, Snoozer, remember we talked about your second favorite superhero, Batman, behind Bat Snoozer? Yes! Well, I know a toy that has one of Batman's big nemesis's, K-Croc. Now, K-Croc looks and sometimes acts like a real crocodile, and sometimes he has crocodile pets. Very cool! He's sometimes found in the sewers of Gotham City, but if we follow him around, maybe we'll find a crocodile. Yeah, if we want a chance to meet with K-Croc, we're going to have to use this toy right here. The Imaginext Bat Sub. It has all sorts of cool features and it comes with Batman himself. It's got propellers to go underwater and a little holding cell where Batman can lock up his enemies. This isn't a water toy snoozer, but when we use our imagination, we could be anywhere, even in the harbors of Gotham City. So do you want to go inside this toy and meet with K-Croc? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're so excited, Snoozer. This is going to be quite an interesting time. Let's head inside the Toy Realm. Let's head inside the Toy Realm. Let's head inside the Toy Realm. 
They've just gone into the toy realm. Their vehicle is vacant. My identical copy of the checkers pad gives me unlimited access into his vehicle. Genius. Truly a genius. Now to capture that book. If you would like to email Checkers and Snoozers, send your emails to checkers at checkerslibrarytv.com. We always look forward to hearing from you. We're back in the Batcave! Yep, that's because Batman keeps the sub in the Batcave, and he takes it when he's going on underwater missions. But how did a bat sub get into Gotham City Bay when we're in a cave? Well, I think Batman uses underwater tunnels that take him through the water into large bodies of water. Kind of how a sewer works. That is so cool! Batman on a secret mission! Going underwater! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm coming to you live from outside Arkham Asylum, where the very dangerous criminal known as Kay Croc has just escaped. Huh. Oh my gosh! What's Arkham Asylum? Arkham Asylum. That's where Batman's criminals get locked up. But where's Batman? I don't know, but this looks like a job for Bat Snoozer. How did this happen? We have no idea. He just vanished. Hello, Commissioner Gordon. Hey, you're not Batman. No, I am Bat Snoozer, the greatest superhero of all time. And this is my sidekick, Chuckles. What? I'm protecting your secret identity, Checkers. I didn't know he had vacuums working for him now. Oh, please, Commissioner. I captured the Joker one time with my snazzy trunk. All righty then, come along. My first case! Here's what happened. K-Croc was missing from his cell during roll call an hour ago. Security footage shows Croc leaving his cell. He didn't appear on any other cameras. He just vanished. I could swear I heard Croc laughing by the side of the building. But there is no sign of him anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. Jim. Oh, oh, it's you. I got the message. Don't worry, Batman. Bat Snoozer is on the case. Bat Snoozer? Hello! Jim, that's a vacuum. So he's not with you? Do you really think I would fight crime with a vacuum? Aha! Guys, look at this! I figured it out! I think he's in the sewer. The sewer? He's right. The bolts have been recently removed. Yes! is like a crocodile, and crocodiles love water. So I think he snuck down into the sewer. That would explain why he wasn't on the security footage. And why I heard Croc laughing, I was hearing him laugh from the sewer. There's no time to lose. We can use your new bat sub. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the bat cave has all those secret tunnels that lead to the bay. How do you... It's complicated. We'll explain in the way. If we're going to catch the croc, we're going to need the right gear. Wowie wow wow! Here's the plan. I'm going after croc. I need you here at the computer. Okay! Bat sub, pressurized and ready to submerge. Release. Snoozer, let's get to work. So Batman had a tracking device on Croc's neck chain. 
As long as he's still wearing the chain, he should show up on the radar. Yes! Hey! I see Crack on the radar! Okay, let's call Batman. Batman? Come in, Batman! Go ahead. I found Crack! He's 500 feet east! Roger that. Wait a minute, Snoozer. It looks like the signal is coming from above the surface. That means Croc's using some kind of watercraft. Uh-oh. Better warn Batman. What button was it? Was it this one? This one or this one? Starting power reset sequence. <laughs> oh, not this again. Power restored. Oh! What do we do now? I can't reach Batman! I have an idea. Only you can breathe underwater. <laughs> he fell for it. Poor Crocky. Good work today, Snoozer. You may have a crime-fighting future after all. Oh, absolutely! But first, I'm gonna go check out more toys! Did you know? You should change the batteries on your smoke detector twice a year! Seatbelts save about 15,000 lives each year. Swimming. 70% of firefighters are volunteers. The library has tons of books about safety. Visit the library to learn more. Oh, that was quite an amazing time, Snoozer. Wow, that was pretty awesome. You did a great job, too, with your detective work. Thanks! There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, well, we're getting pretty close to the rainbow snoozer, but usually we like to ask Dr. Dan a question about now. Do you have any questions for Dr. Dan? Every reading road trip, we have to put our seatbelts on. Why do we have to do that? Why is car safety important? That's a great question, snoozer. Well, I hope Dr. Dan has an answer for you. Let's bring him on right now. Hey Snoozer, I'm so glad you want to talk a little bit about safety today because you know that's one of my favorite topics. Now I love riding in cars. Cars are great. They get us from point A to point B really quickly and allow us to pack lots and lots of things into each day. But it's super important to remember to drive in cars safely. Cars can be really dangerous. There's lots of cars out on the road. And if we aren't all doing our best to stay safe, accidents can happen and people can get hurt. The biggest thing to remember about riding in a car is to wear our seatbelt at all times from the second you start to the second you get to where you're going. Seatbelts have been shown to save lives and greatly decrease the chance of us getting injured if we are in a car accident. So always make sure that you and everyone else in the car is wearing their seatbelt at all times. It's also super important for us to keep our hands and head inside the car at all times and to not be distracting to whoever's driving. They need to focus on the road and all the other cars out there. We also have to do our part to keep all the drivers on the road safe when we are riding our bike and walking next to cars. 
When we're walking, we should really stay on the sidewalk and never go into the street unless we are in a crosswalk. When we're biking, we should stay in the bike lane and never weave in and out of traffic and follow all the traffic safety laws. So as long as we're being safe and following these simple rules, get in your cars and get out there to see all this wonderful world has to offer. Oh, cool, thanks. All right, Snoozer, enjoy those kangaroos. Goodbye. Wow, thanks, Dr. Dan. Oh, that was awesome. Wait a minute, Snoozer, we're at the rainbow. All right, well, if we're going to cross through Rainbow Way, we need to be wearing our safety suits. All righty, Snoozer, get ready. Changing into our safety suits. Going through the rainbow. <laughs> Snoozer, here we are at Hidden Valley Animal Adventure. Let's head inside and meet the kangaroo. So there are two kangaroos at Hidden Valley, a male and a female, Gary and Gima. Both are eastern gray kangaroos. This is the male. The male eastern gray tends to be much bigger than the female, weighing 110 to 148 pounds against the female who's only 37 to 88 pounds. Wow, so why are they inside? Well, kangaroos are used to very warm temperatures, Snoozer. When it's a nice day, they'll go outside. But today's a little bit chilly, so they're hanging out inside. Oh, they look relaxed. And now, it's time to eat. In the wild, these guys eat grasses, herbs, and occasional shrubs. I've got some fruits and vegetables for them today. She doesn't want a grape, but she definitely likes the lettuce. Yum, 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 yum. All right, no to the carrots. And yes to the lettuce. She's just like me. I love salad, but if I see a tomato, no siree. I hate tomatoes. If I see a tomato, I'll run away. She seems to be looking through my selection. She definitely likes her greens. It's really funny to see Gima decide what she wants and what she doesn't want right now. All right, time to see the emu chicks. Now the emu is the second largest bird by height after its relative, the ostrich. These birds average 5.7 feet tall when fully grown. And they're a flightless bird, just like the ostrich and the penguin. Wow, 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 they look so tiny. I can't believe they get that big. In Australia, emus and kangaroos are very common. Just like deer in America, people can see them everywhere. So when you see one here, it stands out more. But it's important not to take any animal for granted because some of those animals, when not properly cared for, start to die out. It's nice to see that all animals at Hidden Valley are respected, even the deer. And now it's time for... The joke of the week. How do sick kangaroos get better? They have a hoperation. <laughs> hop, hop, hop. Well, that was a great trip, Snoozer. I had so much fun. Koalas and kangaroos are in my top 20 favorite animals now. Ah, well sometimes meeting an animal up close can make all the difference, so I'm glad you got to meet the kangaroo today. Yes! I want to come back sometime! Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We should definitely come back to Hidden Valley Animal Adventure because remember, they also have all those other animals like the bison, the camels, all that stuff that we saw when we were talking about desert animals. So there's so much to see here. We'll definitely come back pretty soon. Nice! Oh yeah, Snoozer. Well, we've had a lot of great times, but next time we have a really, really exciting trip coming up. A lot of great books we're going to talk about, amazing places we're going to go on our next Reading Road Trip. At last, I have acquired the great blue book of inventions. 
I shall, in short order, become the greatest inventor of all time. DCVR, let's get to work.